Up until now, we have talked about the AR1 model, which contains one lag value, okay? But what if you have in, uh, useful information in lags greater than one? For example, in our model, uh, on the, uh, the quarterly GDP growth data, we might have seasonality in the data. Then we would have included lag one, yt minus one, plus beta two, yt minus two, plus beta three of yt minus three, and a beta four on y t minus 4 plus the residual term. And why would we initially start with this? It's, it's because the first quarter every month might on average have a different um, uh, level than the other um, uh, quarters, or you can say that of all the four quarters, maybe they just have different levels on average. And if you include four legs, then you would get a certain, you would capture um, a part of this seasonality um, because then you would get um, the um, the um, uh, effect of the previous, uh, for example, first quarter uh, value on next year's uh, uh, first quarter value. So this is one of the motivations to include more than one lag. And often, you would uh, call this an ARP model because you have P lags in your model. And uh, the number of lags in your model um, is called the order uh, of the um, autoregressive uh, model. One of the assumptions in the autoregressive models uh, is that the expectation of the residual term should be zero given the values of the lags uh, included in the model. And this means that the conditional expectation of the residual is zero. And this has two implications. And one is that the best forecast of uh, y at time capital T plus 1, um, knowing the entire history, uh, only depends on the recent p past values. And just remember that um, this is because the p lags that you have in your model uh, are the only lags which are relevant in explaining the expectation of uh, y itself. So this um, p lagged um, uh, um, auto regressive model corresponds to the population regression line. So this, um, this means that um, uh, what, what minimizes the root mean squared forecast error is uh, the lags included in the uh, model t minus p here. So, and the second implication is that the error terms they are serially uncorrelated, which means that the correlation or the covariance of u 
t, which is the um, uh, residual at time t, we can write that a bit better, t, um, and u at time t minus k, and where k is uh, greater than or equal to 1, uh, this is uh, equal to 0. So there is no uh, serial correlation in the residuals.